Apple Doctor Germany. My name is Ben, and welcome to the micro soldering show. Good morning. Today we do a day rescue job together. iPhone 7, the board, the board came in like this. You see, it's hardly damaged. It's cracked. You can throw it away in the next basket because it doesn't boot. You don't get any data out of it. And now we will just swap the board on this A10 to get the data back. I just, oh, I just can break it. I can break it in that way. Okay, it's no problem. I think we should get off the data out of this. Should be no problem. Okay, I do it in that way. So we have three pieces. Three pieces like this, you see. And now we just get out all the components we need for a swap. I already prepared a swap board. So we should be fast because I only have about 40 minutes until I have to go. So let's see if we can solve that problem, this problem in that time. So we need a bigger nozzle. We need some more airflow and then we just take off the EMI shield. I can give you on the enhanced camera. It looks ugly on my table. But I think should be no problem. Andy, your syringe, because mine has broken. Do we have new syringes here? No, it's too big. I don't need it. I need a small one. Oh, okay. But what flux is in? It's not my flux. I need I need <laughs> NC559 V2. I only work with my my materials I really need or I like, I really like. So we just get out the shield. If it wants to. Yeah, we got it. Let's see how the CPU looks like. So we go straight under the, ter uh, under the terminal, under the microscope. And we see no bend, no crack. What about the one we want? SD. It's okay. So let's go. The only problem here is that we can't sit it on the right way to the preheater because it's too hard damaged. So we do it without any preheat. I don't like to do that, but I have to in this case. Okay, let's get a smaller nozzle. Some less airflow. And our new Sunshine 101C tool for scraping. Okay, let's go. Get rid of the underfill. So because we don't need this board, we can be really fast. But you see with that tool you don't have any problems on the small audio I see on the top of the board because it's small enough to get there. No problem at all. You see this coil 
cracked, but it's no problem. It's a weak coil from the start, from the beginning. And we don't need it. These coils can go away too, it's no problem for us. Because we only need the CPU, the Logic EEPROM and the NAND. We can swap the baseband too if we want, but we don't need it because it's just a data rescue job. Okay. It's not bad if we scrape too deep here because we only need to get out the CPU. Without any damages. Okay. So. Now we can go fast with the CPU. We do it now without any preheat. Normally I don't like that. Just did it about three times without any preheat so let's see if it works get on And it worked. We got it out. Great. Let's see on the CPU. It's all there. We got no missing pads. Looks nice. Okay. Next one. We can take it out if we want the base band. Huh? Da hinten. need to get off the underfill here. And here. Okay, now let's get off the baseband. Done. And now let's take out the NAND. Just get rid of the underfill fast. I use really much heat here so I only slide over it short time. I don't want to change the nozzle now and to change my airflow and temperature. So I just control the heat here. So now we can take off the NAND. go fast okay got it out so we got all we need now we can check if we can read the data for logic EEPROM and baseband EEPROM
check if it works on a cracked board. Yeah, we can read the logic. That's important for us. Otherwise, we don't can get we or we, otherwise we can't get the data. Writing the logic done, and now we don't really need it, but we can read baseband and write baseband. Okay, we are done. So we can get this shit away. Switch the JC off. It has done its job. And now we can easily clean the CPU. Let's see. It looks good. So get off the underflow here. It's glued on the CPU. Okay, now we just need some flux, I have to get it now with this because my syringe is cracked and I didn't get a new one, it's next beside to the bottle of repair school, I will get it in a minute after that video, but it's no problem, we can do it in that way. Ah, great. Great when people don't see what I do under the microscope. I hate it. I just didn't have a look. So now we just take the wick. After we did that, we just take some contact cleaner and a wipe, clean the CPU, and under the microscope it looks nice, but in the cam it always looks ugly, I know it, without seeing it, okay? But it's only a little bit of rest of the glue, and we don't take it off. We could use some chemicals to, to clean it, but it is not needed, okay? So it will work without a problem. Okay, see that? Now we just take the UV light So 
So now we can unbind, unbind the Wi-Fi. Unbind Wi-Fi on the on the NAND. Loading in, loading in, loading in. Could be that the NAND is a little bit too dirty. We will check it. I will clean the NAND and get it in the JC after that. Just get out the CPU, get in the NAND here. Clean it. It's okay for data rescue. Would be okay for full function too. Get it in the JC. And let's see what happens. Yeah. It's loaded. I just unbind the Wi Fi, unbind Wi Fi success. Great. So now we do the CPU reboot. some dirt at stencil so we have to clean Now get some paste in the stencil. See, like that. Morgan should be enough. Morning. So clean it. Use your tweezers. And now set the temperature for your rebore. And then first circle, 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 circle to heat up the stencil.
so we don't get any bend. Then we start at one edge. With the re-wall. See, it's a really easy and fast job. So wait a short time. Use one time with a phenom wipe and then just get a small amount of flux. Use your finger, get it in. And after that you can do a reflow, a reflow with stencil. So the boards which are not connected with the pads at the bottom go down. Then wait a short time, take some contact cleaner on your vibe and wait until the bolts cool down. And you see we got a perfect reboot. Then we can just use a brush. Gently clean one time. Use the air. And that's the way it should look like, you see? Great. So, after that we can just do a fast reball of the NAND. paste lift up if it wants to yeah and get some hot air on it Done. Then have a look for the iPhone 7 stencil for baseband. Okay, here we are, get it away. David, kannst du mal drüben nach kleinen Spritzen schauen im Regal? Weil ich habe irgendwie keine mehr. Ja. Ja. Keine Ahnung, ob hier auch noch welche sind, aber im Lager sind auf jeden Fall. Gleich rechts im Regal. Gleich rechts, wenn du reinkommst, sofort im Regal unten drin sind welche. Cleaning of the baseband, the baseband CPU. We just take it, only one, only need one small piece. Thanks. So now I got a new syringe 
all is fine. Yeah, I got a syringe again, great. So, I will have a look if I can work with it because I only need my, my old tools. Andy, Andy no knows it. He always says Ben on only can, can work with the things he knows already. <coughs> so, now we just get paste. Stencil, like always, use your tweezers and do the rebore. Done. Now we just take some contact cleaner on a wipe. It's always the same thing when we do these jobs. Clean. Get out the baseband CPU. Have a look, and it is perfectly rebuilt. Just get some plugs on it and some heat for reflow. Just some more because we don't want to use flux on the board. Done. Now we can reflow one time the CPU. Same amount of flux everywhere. And we flow. Done. And now we can solder down CPU base bed NAND. The logic EEPROM data we already have copied. Just want to take one picture. Okay. So now let's solder down the NAND. Kannst aufsperren, David. Oh, I see there's one part missing on this board. I hope this swap board works. I really hope it. Because otherwise we have done a lot of... a lot of fuck for nothing. Okay. 
done. You see, there is something missing here. I hope it will work. I checked only the behavior on the power supply before I before I started. And the behavior was okay, but sometimes behavior is right, and something is wrong. Was denn? Hm. I tausch nur doch. And then now we can just take a picture. And now let's check one more time <coughs> if the board looks good on power supply. I hope. I hope, I hope it will work because I didn't see that this board already was uh, used for I don't know what. But it looks good. Looks good. So let's hope that the phone will boot instead of the the look of the board. use one more time our scraping tool to get all the pads clean and at the same level oh, looks good looks good so let's get down the CPU have a look if it's clean looks good so Get it down. Place it. And then just solder down. It's just soldered down correctly. Let's see what about the one we won. If it's good, I always check it after that. That's too hot, I can't measure because it's too hot. And you see it looks amazing. Okay, really looks nice. Just wait for cooling down. Check the one we want again. 
That's really hard. Yeah. But it's okay. Yeah, you see it's okay. It was always hard. Good. So, now let's see what happens if we try to boot. Looks like when it goes a little bit up, it looks like a normal boot. Yeah, it looks like a normal boot, so just we need just the screen. We need a screen. And bam, we got an apple. It's great. So it's an iPhone 8 screen, so I disconnected the, the home button. Just want to see for the boot. And after that, we can get the important data out of this phone. You see, board swap within 35 minutes. I think that's a good time. A10, I got you once again. Great. Boot behavior is good. Apple close a little bit. Yeah, and you see, we can now get the important data out of this phone. I only have to connect a screen uh, with the right home button. What do we have here? Ah, here we have another one. So I will do it in a minute. Um, the phone is back to life again. Yeah, people, what should I say? Bot swap within a really, really good time. I think 35 minutes should be really okay for that. Let's have a look if this is the right screen for that. Okay, we got an apple and there is a JC home button on it. So you hear the click. You hear it? You hear the click? It's a JC home button. Because for this device we didn't have a home button. Okay, so I hope that the home button works because sometimes you got one out of ten which doesn't work and I really don't have much time because in some minutes my wife picks me up with the kids and we have to go to the doctor and after that again one or thirteen o'clock I will be back at the company for fixing some phones okay so wait 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 have a look if the I see the button doesn't work so I have to get another one or have to see if I can get the original one for this. Sometimes when we wait a short time it will work but I think we have to use just another button. So Wait, 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 wait. But that's not a problem at all. We will change uh, the button in a minute. Uh, that's a thing David can do now and then he can uh, get the data for the customer. Um, we just do data recovery mode and after that um, we copy the data to the to USB stick and the customer gets the USB stick with all his important data. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, just another um, bot swap job um, within 35 minutes. Um, if you want to learn things like that, ah, now it works. Now the button works. I can show it to you here. Now the button works. Here, I show it to you. One second. But I have to do an update. Again, one moment. I show it to you on hands. Okay. See? button works it just has a little delay you see it works so I can get the data for the customer now and um, he will be happy with that I think okay I hope you enjoyed the video um, give me a thumbs up if you like it uh, join our Facebook uh, group smartphone repair pool Germany if you are a repair technician or working in the repair industry for smartphones and tablets 
And um, if you want to learn things like that, you can do that easily on the board library Casco Germany. I'm out. See you with the next video. Yours, Ben. Goodbye.